In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JotForm Sign and enhance the documents you create. So if you haven't heard about it, JotForm Sign is an easy to use solution for e-signatures. And using this, what you can do is create documents and collect the signatures digitally. So this saves a lot of your time, it reduces all of the paperwork and overall, it's an extremely good e-signature solution. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. The first thing you have to do is go to your browser and then go to jotform.com. Once you've reached Jotform, you'll have to sign up. So they have different methods via Google, Facebook or your email ID. So I'll quickly sign up with Google. And now I've logged in and I've reached the dashboard. So now you have to click on My Forms that's written on the top left over here. After that, you have to select My Sign Documents. Then over here, click on Create Sign Document that's written on the top left over here. And then you have two options. You can either upload a document of your own or else they have many useful templates which you can go through. So I'll quickly show you those. But after that, I'll show you how to upload a document and add an e-signature. So to see the templates, just click on Use Template. And here, you can see all of the templates that they have. So on the left, you'll find all of the categories. So based on what document you're looking for, you can just select the category over here. Or else you can search for it on top. So if I like this template over here, then I can preview it by clicking on Preview. So here you can see how it looks and you can completely edit this to suit your liking. And if you want to use it, just click on use template. But now I'll go back and show you how to upload your own document and add an e-signature to it. So I'll click on back that's written over here. So now I'll upload my own document by clicking on upload document over here. And one thing you'll have to make sure is that the document is a PDF. So I'll click on Upload Document. Then it'll open my File Explorer and I'll have to attach the PDF. Then if I want, I can add more documents by clicking on Add New Document. But for now, I'll just use this one and I'll click on Create Signable Document. Now as you can see, our document has come over here and we have two options. We can either manually enter the fields into the document by dragging it from the left. So as you can see over here, all the fields are given and if I want to add them, I can just drag it onto the document. Or else they have a new feature that will auto detect all the fields. So as you can see, the option is here on top to detect the fields automatically. And now I'll just click on detect fields. So here, as you can see, most of the fields have been added. So next to employee name, they've added a name field. Then for address, address. The same way, they've added most of them. But if I want to add more fields, since they haven't completed all, then I can click on add fields that's written over here. After that, next to first emergency contact name, which is here, I can just drag the name field and put it there. So the same way, you can keep adding different fields onto your document. Now I'll show you the different options you have for a field. So if you just click on a certain field, if I click on employee name, then if I click on settings, as you can see, I have some options. First, I can decide if I want to keep this required. That means a person must fill in the employee name and only then they'll be able to submit this. So I'll enable that. After that, under options, I can decide what type of input I want. So if I just click on this, then I can decide if I want alphabetic, alphanumeric, etc. And then they have another option which is a character limit. So these are all of the settings which you have for a field. Then another thing you can do is change the person who has to fill it in. So if I click on this, currently everything in blue will be filled in by Sino1. But if I want Sino1 to only fill in a certain part and the rest by someone else, then you can do that as well. So if I just click on this option over here, 
then I can change who this field is assigned to. So currently it's signer one, but I can change it to me by clicking on this over here. And if I want to add more roles, I can do that as well. Just click on add new role. And as you can see, it's been assigned to signer two now. So the same way, everything that you want to fill in, you can just change the signer to me. So let's say I want to fill in the relation to employee. I can select that, click on this button over here, and then change the field who this is assigned to by selecting me. Once this is done, you can preview your document by clicking on this option that's on the top right. Over here, you can preview from different roles. So if I want to preview this as Sino1, on the top left here, I can change this to Sino1. And this is how Sino1 will see the form. As you can see, employee name will not show for him since we've assigned that to ourselves. Then you can change the view like a phone, tablet or desktop view on the top right over here. And if you want to go back, then just disable the preview by clicking on this icon again. Now I'll quickly show you some important settings. So just click on settings, which is on top over here. The first thing you can do is add a title to your document. After that, select email settings. So here you can customize the document email settings. You can change the email subject line and the message over here. And after that, if you want to connect your document to different apps, then they have an integrations option as well. And here you can see all the different third party services with which you can connect your document. So once you're done with this, there's only one thing that's left to do and that's send it. So click on the send page that's over here. Then here you can manage the signers. So I can give a name to signer one. After that, I can add an email address and then if I want to make the document password protected, then I can just click on this option over here, enter the code. And now signer one will have to enter this code to access the document. Then if I want to create a signing order, I can click on this option over here and enable it. So what this means is that first signer one will have to fill in the document and sign it. And only then will it come to me. And if I want to change the order, I can just select these dots on the left and drag it like this. Then they have some options as well. Just select options over here. Here you can set an expiration date. So after this date, the document will expire. Then if you want to send reminder emails, they have an option for that as well. So you can enable both of these settings from here. And now to send it, I'll just click on send to sign. And now it's been sent. And if you want to share this as a link, you can do that as well by clicking on share with link that's over here. So now I've opened the email that's sent by Jotform and to sign it, I have to click on review and sign document that's written over here. So over here, I can fill in everything in the blue box. So my first and last name, I can enter that here. After that, my address and everything else, I'll have to fill it in. And to sign it, I'll have to click on employee signature, which is written over here. As you can see, they have different options. So first I can just type it out and change the color and style. Or if I want, I can draw it. And click on next. And as you can see, my signature has come here. So now if I want to send it, I can just click on sign and complete. Now I've come back to Jotform and under sent documents, I can track it by clicking on track over here. And this was the one which I just filled in. So here I can see the updates where it shows that signer one signed it on this date at this time. And I can also see how signer one filled it in. And then I have different options like sending a reminder email if it hasn't been signed yet or downloading it once it's signed. So to download it, I'll just click on this option that's over here. And now it's opened as a PDF. So this is how it works. And currently with the free version of Jotform, they've set a limit 
to five forms. But here, you can see the different plans that they have. So the most popular one is this one that's $39 a month and gives you 100 forms, 10,000 submissions and a lot more. So I've given all of the links in the description, so check it out from there. So I hope this video helped you. Goodbye.